It's been seven years since the UK was hit by a storm as big and destructive as Kiara. Back then, in the winter of 2013-14, Britain was battered by a series of massive storms which caused damage across the country, cutting off rail lines, inundating thousands of homes and causing flooding along the Thames and Seven Rivers. The cause of all that chaos was a jet stream, a band of intense wind that blows west to east about six miles above the ground, which blew a series of storm systems directly over the UK. Now the jet stream is doing it again, drawing strength from a mass of warm air over Florida it's accelerated from 150 to 250 miles per hour in less than a week. That has not only pushed Storm Chiara straight over the UK, but also turned it from a normal low pressure system into a hurricane force monster. This weekend, many long haul flights to the UK were told to not even take off because they would be landing on Sunday at the peak of the storm. Highways England has warned that exposed bridges such as the Seven Crossings may have to close. In London, the Royal Parks have decided to close all eight of their parks, including Hyde Park and St James's, for fear of falling trees and branches. Sporting events have also suffered. In London, a charity run for 25,000 runners, organised by Cancer Research UK, has been cancelled, as has a half marathon planned for Clenethley in Wales. Train operators have also warned of cancellations, while several warned of an emerging new hazard caused by the growing popularity of garden trampolines, which are increasingly being caught by the wind and landing in cuttings, blocking lines. Britain may bounce back from this storm, but as climate change makes such extreme weather ever commoner, we can look forward to many more storms like Kiara.